Hi there, so a while ago I was showed this demo where the pulse sensor could communicate with both RoboBirds. So I'm just going to show that right now. So I'll plug in the uh, pulse sensor module and we'll try to give it like a test run here. <laughs> so uh, let's see if this will work. Alright, so it's sort of meshing my pulse. Not really great though. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, what the whole idea here is that whenever my pulse is detected using the pulse sensor, then this uh, yellow LED will light up. Uh, as you can see right there, see it lit up. And then each time it does that, then a message is sent out of the XB, which is right here. And then it's transferred over to anyone that's listening on that specific personal area network ID. Um, and then so these two rovers receive it. And then what happens is that I can put on different hats on this RoboBird and now the behavior that this RoboBird does when it detects a pulse is different, like it's only waving one wing, whereas if the hat is off then it waves both wings uh, whenever it detects a pulse. So I'm sort of like trying to make the pulse sensor detect it automatically by just moving my thumb. So it's pretty cool, like so say with this hat, what it does is it chirps. See, both of them chirp. And then with this hat, it slaps that wing. And then with the green hat, <laughs> The rover doesn't really change its behavior much because it always doesn't like the green hat. Um, so how it works is that everything is sort of connected using the XB network protocol, which is made by Chris Courtright. He uses it in his RiderNet routers, but what I did was I sort of um, made it smaller to fit onto an Uno-sized Arduino. Um, so that's what this one is pretty much here. So there's basically three nodes in this mesh network. Uh, there we go. So basically the pulse node and then the two row birds. Pulse one is sending to everyone and these two are basically listening. And then this one is sending its hat data to that one, which affects that one's behavior as well as that one. So it's just a really simple example of a mesh network. It's really cool though to see like when the data is coming in. So say for instance, I have the two uh, serial monitors going there. So when I connect the uh, pulse sensor back up again, then you'll start to, start to see the data come streaming in. <laughs> I hope. There we go. So one of the interesting things is that since the pulse sensor triggers an interrupt routine, then sometimes it sends the data so quickly it doesn't even get sent right. But when it completely finishes a pulse, like a real actual pulse, then the data is sent correctly. So that's how the two row birds can move their wings. It's pretty cool. So that is the pulse sensor robot bird mesh. <laughs> it's pretty fun.
Um, oh yeah, and the blue robe bird shakes its, sh or just shakes, um, whenever it doesn't detect a pulse for very long. So, you know, it's a good way to check to see if you have a pulse, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can actually get the pulse here. I don't really think that's my pulse. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sort of. Oh, not really. Anyway, it's cool to just like play with this and like see who. It's cool to see the looping issues too of each robot. Like each one is at a different phase in its loop, so. Sometimes it gets it really quickly, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, I'll post the code up on GitHub and you can try it yourself. It's pretty cool just to add this on to pretty much any project. Alright, whoosh.